The full list of downstream consequences from climate engineering is so immense, it's truly impossible to quantify. The most detrimental factors that are inarguable, proven by science study, geoengineering completely disrupts the hydrological cycle. As you fill the atmosphere with particulates, you have too many condensation nuclei, and it tends to migrate rain from one place to another. It diminishes direct light. We have global dimming as a result of solar radiation management. That's the express goal to block the sun. That decreases evaporation. The same particulates decrease convection. The most detrimental factors that are inarguable, proven by science study, you have a shredded ozone layer that's causing massive UV radiation. We're seeing UVB levels 10 times higher than we're being told. We're metering UV radiation, so we know, we're not guessing. So you have levels of UV radiation, you have UVA at the top, UVB, UVC, and then X-ray. We're told that no more than 5% of all incoming UV radiation should be UVB. We're seeing 55% to 60%, 10 to 11 to 12 times higher than we're being told. It's burning the bark off of trees. It's killing plankton. Plankton supplies over half of Earth's oxygen content. We've seen global plankton populations plummet 50 to 60 percent. That's the bottom of the food chain, the bottom of life on Earth. And also, this is important to consider, on a warming planet, we should have an increase in atmospheric RH, atmospheric relative humidity. Laws of physics say we must. Since the mid-40s, when we know these programs started, we see a decrease in atmospheric relative humidity. Because these particles are desiccant materials, they absorb and accrete all available moisture. That's why they show up when they're sprayed. That's why atmospheric humidity is going down, not up. We have the bioavailable metals that are in the rain which radically affect the root systems and we know from peer-reviewed study in the case of aluminum when trees like conifers and boreal forests sense the aluminum they shut down nutrient uptake they die we have forests now that are not only not producing oxygen they're not feeding on carbon they're not absorbing they become carbon sources instead of carbon sinks The same particulates decrease convection. The data indicates that the ozone damage is not so much a result of CFCs, chloral fluorocarbons, but of climate engineering. And the CFCs have been used as a red herring. We have an exponential increase in forest fires around the globe. Siberia is losing about 100 million acres of forest to fires every year. We lost 600% more forest to fires in Canada last year. These are astronomically high numbers. Is climate engineering, again, how does, it, how does it fuel forest fires? Again, less rain. We have an intense ozone destruction that's causing massive UV radiation, which has a very detrimental effect to the trees. We have more dry lightning. We have an incendiary dust coating the foliage. These metal particulates are incendiaries, so they coat the foliage. The aluminum showing up everywhere in whales. We have a, a study of a thousand whales from the most remote places on the planet. And the study stated clearly, and I'm quoting directly from the study, jaw-dropping levels of aluminum in their tissues. There is no place to hide from what's falling out. The bees are dying around the globe. Myself, I've communicated with some of the head bee people around the country for many years, tried to plead with them to investigate this issue, that there was a much bigger factor with the bees than glyphosate, and that issue was heavy metals, i.e. aluminum. We now have peer-reviewed study 
that proves the bees are dying of aluminum, that bees are exhibiting symptoms of Alzheimer's and dementia because they have, in many cases, 70 times more aluminum in them than it takes to cause Alzheimer's or dementia in a human being. It's a wonder any of the bees are alive at all. We're seeing an uptake in all plant life. There is no organic anything at this point, nothing. All plant life is uptaking these materials. According to Norwegian researchers that we've worked with and communicated with, they're seeing horizontal gene mutation in all plant life. Word is traveling rapidly. People understand that something is very, very wrong in our skies with the climate, with the dying off of the trees, wildlife, frogs, fish, bats, birds. We're looking at biosphere implosion right now.